A factory reset is a powerful tool that restores your Anburnic RG35XX handheld gaming device to its original factory state, completely erasing all personal data and custom settings. You might need a factory reset in three main situations. When troubleshooting persistent device issues, when preparing to sell or give away your device, or simply when you want to start completely fresh with a clean setup. There are two primary methods to perform a factory reset. The soft reset method uses the system menu when your device is working normally. The hard reset method uses the physical reset button when your device is unresponsive or won't boot properly. Before performing any factory reset, it's absolutely critical to back up any important data. This includes saved games, custom settings, and any personal files. Once the reset is complete, all of this data will be permanently lost and cannot be recovered. Additionally, ensure your SD cards are properly inserted before attempting a reset. Sometimes what appears to be a device malfunction is actually just a loose or improperly seated SD card. Also keep in mind that menu options may vary slightly depending on your firmware version, so consult your device manual if the exact steps differ from what you expect. When your RG35XX boots normally, you can perform a software factory reset through the system menu. This is the easiest and safest method. First, navigate to the system settings. Look for a gear or cogwheel icon in your main menu. This is typically found in the settings or system area of your device interface. Once in system settings, look for options labeled factory reset, reset to factory defaults, or erase all data. The exact wording may vary depending on your firmware version. Confirm the reset when prompted. The device will begin the factory reset process which typically takes a few minutes. Do not power off the device during this process. If your RG35XX won't boot or is completely unresponsive, you'll need to use the hardware reset method. This involves using the physical reset button on the device. First, ensure your device is completely powered off. Then locate the small reset button. It's usually on the side or bottom of the console. You'll need a pin or paper clip to press it. Press and hold the reset button for 10 to 15 seconds. Keep it pressed down firmly with your pin or paper clip throughout this duration. After holding the reset button, release it and try powering on the device normally using the power button. The device should now boot up properly. There's also a third method using both the power and reset buttons simultaneously. This can be effective when other methods don't work. Hold both the power and reset buttons simultaneously for five to 10 seconds until the device powers off completely. Then release both buttons and power the device back on normally. If you encounter issues during the reset process, here are some common troubleshooting steps that can help resolve problems. If your device won't charge, this might indicate SD card corruption. Make sure you have a valid custom firmware card inserted in the TF1 slot as the device may not charge without it. Remember to always back up your saved data before performing any factory reset, as this process will erase all your saved games and custom settings permanently.